is happening here because the only up to this point, the only person that's ever been on that board from nuclear is the is the president and CEO of NEI. And so we're trying to bring a bit a little bit of different perspective about that correlation. So you're suggesting we don't want to hold it on the six. Uh, yeah. That's so right. seventh eighth of line. Does does Wednesday or Thursday but the seventh or eighth look good for everybody? I'm trying to stay away from Fridays and Mondays for your sake. What's the day? Uh, December 7th or December 8th, which is a Wednesday or a Thursday. No, 8th eight, is a Tuesday. Oh, sorry. No. Sorry, wrong, wrong year. Mm -hmm. Okay, I have 8th is a Thursday. 8th is a Thursday. 7th is a Wednesday. I can say yes, no, but I don't know. <laughs> I know it's a lot to ask you to look this far out. I believe me, I have the same thing, and then if something always tries to conflict whether you like it or not. Either day is good for me. How many of you, by raising your hands, could meet here in Richmond? The morning of the eighth. You can too, or no? What works better for you, the seventh? None of that works. The first. You mean like December first? And only I've got a. Um, I mean, that's why I just noticed that I'm on the board of the United States Energy Association. I'm trying to make sure they're aware of the neck and all the things that store and stuff. I can't miss that. It's in Washington. But, you know, an eight doesn't work for you. The following week, I don't want to do it if I could. I, mean, I don't think the 19th or 26th work. So mm -hmm. if the vast majority of you are okay with the eighth, why don't we do that? In Richmond. Mm -hmm. And we'll make it 10 to 12 again. Okay. All right, and that takes care of our future meetings. Well, while we're kind of on the topic of calendars and all these events are starting to fly, if everyone does, if you wouldn't mind, please send me kind of a list of these big events coming up. I'll compile them in kind of, a, I don't know if I want to do a bi-weekly email or a monthly email to start sending out, just to make sure that everyone's actually on the same page. Because I don't, you know, I don't want to flood everyone's inboxes, but just to ensure that everyone knows this date is coming up, this thing is happening where. Mm -hmm. I think it'd be nice just for the sake of. Is this something maybe we should request the consortium take on and go on this master calendar? Because I mean, they have, they've got their website, sure. they have some PR communications. Is that, is that's this, a, that's is a task that we should pass on to the consortium and say, you know, please put together a calendar of energy related? Yeah, that's an excellent that's idea. That's an excellent I've got, a conference, I've got a conference call with Marshall tomorrow about a number of things. I can just add that. Would you please? Because it really would make all of our judgment. Because sometimes just knowing something's coming allows us to, co you know, correlate. That with well, excuse me, but I, I do have an issue with that because once it goes to the consortium, then the public is completely cut out of the loop. Well, I mean, I have a problem. I mean, if, if, if I mean, I if it's all going to come, that it's put on the uh, consortium yeah, actually, website. It's, actually, it's just that's the way it gets promoted. It would be on the consortium. We just ask them to. to so does the public, can the public see that? Oh, yeah, it's on yeah. the website, it's virginianuclear.org. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, so just yeah, a calendar widget on there, since okay. our, our website's through the Commonwealth, it doesn't have a calendar feature or anything. Okay. We prefer you all to be aware of these things, than not just right. like we yeah. would like to be. Yeah. Are we going to future meetings? And then, and then all you have to do, Chris, is put a link on the authority page to that site. Exactly. So, yeah. No, I think that's a great idea. And yeah, that about covered meeting, the covered annual report. I look what I want to add to Women of Weight, which is the next steps, is that one of the things that I've asked for, and I'm not necessarily getting it, um, and I think we need to do a better job, and this is what we were talking about, is getting more information in between the meetings to you, through you, so you're aware of what's going on. Not so you make any decisions, not so we do anything that's inappropriate given our statutes, but that there's enough information flowing that you don't only hear about what the authority and or the consortium is doing with, unless you're engaged in that more at the meeting. That should not be the case. And it's, it's, I, hopefully we've got that in case. We're going to understand what the other activities are. We're going to try to um, be more attentive to and maybe make presentations at, but attend things to try to show the flag for the authority along with the things the consortium is doing, but also ensure that we're pushing forward um, and supporting our requirements. Now, interestingly enough, you know, we have the first thing we're going to hear in a moment, what it, it, his new title would be, kind of funny. That's the first one, and I just my sincere hope that you all have individual issues that you'd like to see us push and to be more attentive to and to have actions that we conduct as the authority 
an investigation, we're more than happy to let you read something and then keep us informed of both in between and at the meetings and ask us for support in whatever form and fashion we can help you in pushing that forward, bless you. Um, so I, I'm hoping that's resonating with you. There's so many things that we can do that I'm finding. And in fact, the more we get engaged, the better off we're going to be. And that's one of the things I found. You don't get what you don't ask for, and we need to make sure that we're out there getting our message out, because in the absence of our messaging, people are just not, in my opinion, hearing the whole story. So I don't have anything on next steps or future meetings. I have no other conduct of activities for the authority, with the exception of asking Donna Potty, does he have a better title we'd like the board to consider? The ABS call is more to so we don't have to have anything to do with that. So you want to call it Deputy Vice Chair for Accelerator Driven Designs and Molten Salt Design? Yeah, that's fine. So it would actually be Accelerator Driven and Molten Salt Design. So we yeah. even didn't think any reference to Thorium F, right? Yeah, that, that's, uh, that is part of any of this. So Let's see if I have that right. Deputy Vice Chair for Accelerator Driven and Molten Salt Reactor Designs. Okay. You're okay with that? Yes. All right, we have a, a, another motion asking for the board's approval of said position, making Ganapati our Deputy Vice Chair for Accelerator Driven and Molten Salt Reactor Designs. I, I've made a motion. Do we have a second? Any discussion? Hearing that, all in favor signify saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Very well. Carried. We'll make sure the meeting that is carried out appropriately. We don't have any other activities that were on to public comments. Right? Sure.